Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am so happy and humbled to be with all of you today, and I thank God for bringing me here. My name is Natalie Wamboy, and I'm 10 years old. I'm in class 5, and I'm an author and a poet. Um, my first book is called Natalie's Poems. It is a poetry book full of inspirational poems which talk about what we experience in our everyday lives. And uh, my second book is called Kenya, My Country, My Story. Now, the reason I wrote this book was because uh, many people in Kenya love talking about the negative things that are happening. But I thought to myself, why can't I write all the positive things that have happened in Kenya in a book? And the second reason I wrote this book was because I wanted to celebrate all the Kenyans who have made a difference in our country. And I also wanted to state what we can do to make our country a better place for all Kenyans to live in. Recently, I have just launched my third book. Here it is. It's called Extraordinary Kenyans Doing Extraordinary Things. It's about 40 Kenyans, 20 men and 20 women who are all doing great things in different fields. These people have all overcome challenges just to achieve their goals. Um, I want to thank Mr. Ndungo Nyoro for having me here today because it is such a blessing to talk to young people like you who are full of hope, dreams, and ambition. I am here to talk to all of you today about living a life of purpose, a life that will make you feel happy and content. There is a book written by a man named Gary Zukov called Seed of the Soul. And in Seed of the Soul, he defines what is true power and what is authentic power. And in his definition of authentic power, it is the kind of power that can never leave you. It will always be with you. Not your looks, not your money, and not your fame. But authentic power is when your personality comes to serve the energy of your soul. When you realize what you came to do in this world. When your personality serves the soul. When you are able to align who you are and what you came to do in this world. I thought a lot about that and it was actually life changing for me. Everyone was created with a solution for another person's life. God was very generous in his giving. He made sure we are all unique in our own ways. It is a problem when some of us do not realize what is unique about us. What sets you apart from the rest of the people? You may never live a happy and fulfilled life until you discover your inner ability. Your inner ability and talent will never leave you. It will always be with you. All you need to do is work on it, perfect it, and make it known to the world. By doing this, you will be empowering yourself and also empowering others. In the process, you will find a sense of purpose and a direction of where you want your life to go. Seated in this room, we have people who are already doing well in life and we really appreciate what you have been able to achieve. And if you are seated here, still struggling to achieve something, I'm here to tell you that it can be done. And it's not too late. You can do it. The real sense of purpose comes by giving others what you have already been given. That unique resource that lies deep within you. You may never live a happy and fulfilled life until you discover your inner ability. Your inner ability and talent will never leave you. It will always be with you. All you need to do is work on it, perfect it, and make it known to the world. If you don't, you will become sort of a thief. You will be robbing the world, a unique resource that only you can give. It's time you become generous and share it wide and loud. That unique resource that God put in you to make you happier, wiser, richer, and more prosperous. But how will you do that? 
How will you use it to become truly, authentically empowered? Now, for me, it has been a beautiful thing to win an award and to meet the president and other leaders. But my true reward is in the lives that I'm able to touch those people whom I know I have impacted. Our legacy is every life that we touch. I know this for sure. Any life, no matter how fantastic it is, no matter how glorious it seems, how many likes on Facebook you receive, any life and every life is enhanced in the giving, the sharing, and the opening of the heart space of who you truly are on the inside. Your life gets better when you find a way to share it with someone else. But how will you do that? How will you use it to become truly authentically empowered? Now, for me, knowing that what I'm doing can inspire another child to do what they love doing, be it singing, writing, football, and many others. But, but I want to tell all of you today that your legacy is every life that you touch. As you live here today, the question will be, whose life will that be? How will you use yourself in such a manner that your legacy and your impact will live beyond the doing? When people started knowing that I write and the media started reaching out to me, my mother sat me down and told me that my biggest challenge was to offer myself as a good example to those who will be coming after me. And that is a challenge to all of us. You have to have a reason as to why you do what you do. For me, I'm a writer and whenever, people, and whenever I go somewhere, people normally ask me, how did you start writing? Why did you start writing at such a tender age? And my answer is usually the same. I write to open up a blind eye. I write to bring truth to life. I write to show you my opinion. I write to tell you that there is always another way to do something. I write to undress the lies. I write to bring darkness to light. I write to tell you that everyone is different. I write to tell you that not everyone will like you. I write to remind you that the world is diverse. I write to tell you that racism, nepotism, terrorism, and tribalism are real. I write to tell you that all dreams are valid. I write to remind you that you are amazing. I write to tell you that giving up is not an option. I may not be the best writer, but I want you to get something from what I write. Not just read and go with the same. I want you to make a change. Even if it's just a slight change, I will never stop writing. Today, I cannot finish my speech without talking about God. In Him I live, I dwell and breathe. When God sparks a dream in your heart, you won't be able to let it go. You will chase it until God's purpose has been fulfilled. God will allow trials to test your idea, but He will give you the strength to overcome. God will always provide for you in the journey of turning your idea into a reality. God will always give you the direction on how to follow your idea. God will, God will help you turn your idea into a reality, but only if you stick to the initial calling of that idea. And so, my dear people, are you sitting on an idea, no matter how small and outlandish it may be? Act on it and turn it into a reality. You never know. Maybe that idea can change the world for the, for the better because always the world has been made up of ideas. I want you all to take your education very serious. I want you one day to change your life, your family's life, and also the community's life. 
I want you to be the touch bearers in the areas that you all come from. And I know that is not too much to ask from you all. And finally, I want you to be very responsible citizens and leaders of this country. Thank you.